Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. Before I will show you my today's puzzle, I want to thank you all for your comments on my Pelican Puzzles review video. All of you wrote that you don't like names printed on top of Asana and Water puzzles. It makes extremely well-made and good-looking puzzles look really cheap and uh, unfortunately we can't do anything with it. Uh, these puzzles, at least this time, are gonna be sold with names printed on them. But I tried to remove the names uh, from uh, these puzzles and now I will show you uh, what I got at the end. Since uh, writings on these puzzles are printed on top of the wood, I've tried to remove one of them using just a regular nail, nail varnish remover and a couple of uh, cotton pads. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job here. Uh, there are some marks left due to the texture of the wood, uh, but actually it looks not bad. And now I'll try to remove the Neptune. It is already much better, much better than with uh, the writings on top of the puzzle. If you take a closer look, you can see a couple of marks here but actually it is not as bad so it's up to you what you decide if you want to remove them or no i did it just to show you what result you can get and uh, so that you make a decision if you're gonna do it with your puzzle or you're gonna keep the writings on top of it Okay, and I'll try to remove it on the dark color wood. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit easier, I don't know. Let's try. Looks much better already. There are some marks left, but still it is much better than with the names printed on top. That's how I was able to remove the names printed on top of Asanori Mamoda's puzzles. And it is up to you to decide what you're gonna do with your puzzle. If you're gonna keep the names on top of it or you're gonna remove them, but probably you're gonna uh, have a couple of marks left. So it is your decision, not mine. And now let's talk about today's puzzle. Uh, today I was going to show you a completely different puzzle, but yesterday when I start recording my attempt to solve it, I've got a box with different puzzle. And I decided that I have to try this new puzzle. It is not new, but it was completely new for me. This puzzle was sent to me by one of my viewers. Thank you a lot for your constant support. It's not the first puzzle you send me. Uh, this guy doesn't want uh, to be named, but you know who I'm talking about. So today I'm going to show you my attempt to solve first box puzzle. This puzzle was designed by William Streetboss. It has difficulty level 9 out of 10 and the object since it's a puzzle box, is to open it, but the real object is, uh, you can see here, there is a small uh, hole on the bottom and there is a set emoji face there. So the object is to make it smile. So it means that you have to open it, find another uh, smiling face there and put it right here on the bottom. So great puzzle. Uh, now I will show you my attempt to solve it. If you uh, want to buy the, this puzzle, uh, I don't know if it is available somewhere, but I'll try to find some links and put it in the video description. And now keep watching my video if you want to see my attempt to solve it. So let's see how hard is the first box puzzle designed by William Streetboss. First impression, this puzzle looks very beautiful. I like the blue color of anodized aluminum and this puzzle is quite heavy. As I remember, it is about seven, 700 plus grams and it feels really heavy in hands. After solving it for, I don't know, half an hour, it will be like a nice workout. So let's start the stopwatch and let's see how to solve it. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that I can solve it under 10 minutes. Maybe I'm wrong, but we will see it at the end of the video. So let's take a closer look first. There is a set emoji face on the bottom and the object is to make it smile so probably i have to open the box remove the set face 
and there is somewhere inside the happy face which I have to stick there. There is another hole in here, it is completely dark there, I have no idea what is happening inside. There is a lid that I can move just a little bit and there is a small bolt or nut on top and obviously I have to start with it. I don't see any other options. I can unscrew it, okay. Oh, I can unscrew this part as well. Oh, and I found the key already. This is the small Allen key. And I have idea, I know exactly where I can stick it. I have to put it right here. And that's probably where the, some kind of a bolt inside. So let's try to unscrew it. I can't rotate it to the right, but I can do it to the left. Oh, that was quite interesting. The key was quite small, now it is big, so it means that the bolt that was inside now is sticking out. Okay, but nothing happened and it feels like the lid is not moving so much as it was at the very beginning. So yeah, when I put the Allen key all the way to the left, it stacks the lid, but when I rotate it, it is not stuck. Oh, that's interesting. Now I can't rotate it all the way to the right so that it will become small again. I can do it probably only halfway or something. That is interesting. Why it happening? I have no idea. Oh, but now I see that... No, I don't see it now. <laughs> yeah, now I see that the said emoji face fell down inside the box. That is interesting. Probably the bolt that I just unscrewed was holding the set face. Oh, and that is interesting again. There is a pin on top of the set emoji and it goes left and right. Okay, why there is a pin there? I have no idea. Maybe if I put it like this and upside down, it's gonna hold the, yeah, it holds the set emoji. Maybe now I can do something. No, no, still I can't open the box. Okay, maybe I have to, yeah, I think that the key is uh, holding the lid somehow since when I move it, the key is moving as well. So the lid is connected with the Allen key. So probably the lid goes pretty deep inside the box. And maybe I don't have to move it all the way to the left or to the right. Maybe I have to keep it somewhere in the middle. That's when the lid will be opened. I don't know. But every time I have to remove the key since probably it's right on the way. Yeah. If you look at this, you will see that when I try to open the lid, the key goes up and kind of blocks the way of the lead. Yeah, quite difficult to understand what is happening there. Yeah, but I don't, don't think that I have to do it now. Okay, let's see again. There is a pin there and it moves the set face. Okay. What else I can do? There's, there are a couple of pins there. The sound of the pin that covers the set face is quite, it's pretty quiet. And when I put it like this, there is another pin. And this sound is much louder. So I have to figure out where this pin is. Okay, let's see where is my bolt now. 
if I un unscrew it all the way. Oh, I think that I found the pin. I just saw the pin right here where the Allen key goes. Yeah, now I can put it inside, but now there is a pin, okay. And the key goes only halfway there. Okay, but why there is a pin there? I have to figure out how it... Yeah, it goes just left and right. But not all the time I see it here. I can see it sometimes, but sometimes it is not going all the way. Okay, quite interesting. So the pin is right here right now and it blocks and I don't know what to do. Maybe, maybe I can try to use this part, put it here, this not on top. Maybe this way I push some buttons inside or something, no? No, I don't, don't think so. No, I don't think. I don't think it helps at all. Okay, there is one pin right here, there is one pin on the bottom. And they, so here's the bottom, here's the top one. And there is a bolt right here in the middle. So when I tighten the bolt, the rod with the set face is held somewhere in the middle. And when I put the Allen key in the hole, it feels like it moves with the lid. So it means that the lid it is maybe some kind of a, another box in the box that goes all the way down and it is held inside by the bolt and I have to screw this bolt back inside but why it was not opening at the very beginning when I start solving it since the bolt was like all the way in that is interesting now I can't put the Allen key all the way to the right. I think that if I put it deep inside, when I will be able to rotate it to the right, I will be able to open the lid. Probably there is a kind of hole inside the rod that has face on top and maybe I have to put the bolt right in the middle of this rod but the only part that is not so good is that the uh, face is moving it was facing this direction now it is facing this direction so I have to figure out the way how to like if it was like this at the very beginning, so the cutout inside the rod will be some way here and maybe that's how I can solve it, I don't know. It fell down a little bit, but still I can't put the Allen key all the way inside. Okay. Let's see. There is something moving when I move it this direction. Okay, there are two pins, one on top, one on the bottom. They make some noise and there is something else it moves this way. Ah, okay, this is my set face making this noise. Okay. Maybe I have to move it just a little bit down and then we'll be able to stack this hidden bolt inside the face. Ooh, 
it went down now i have to try to move it a little bit better oh oh okay probably i can open it now yeah okay 13 minutes but let's try to figure out yeah and i see there is a smiley face here so this part has smiley face on one side and sad face on the other side so to solve it i just have to put it other way okay and now let's see what i have here so there is one metal pin i have to be careful not to lose all these parts yeah but it's still Ow. quite difficult to figure out what how it worked since there is no hole in this part but I, why i wasn't able to move the bolt i have no idea so probably i have to ah okay there is another rod inside that has the same color okay let's remove the bolt oh it is a huge one yeah, it goes through the whole puzzle oh and there is a pin on top and there is a okay that's what i have there is one pin there is another pin there is one rod there is another and there is a bolt okay and now i think that it's becoming a little bit more clear what was happening inside so the pin on top is holding the inner part when it goes inside the hole right here it holds the uh, the lid the bolt that goes through here it holds the lid in other place so to open it i have to move the pin to the right and screw the bolt inside and here i have to screw it between two metal rods inside but when it is out i can't put it inside because the rods are on the way and somehow i have to move them okay probably i can spin it and that's gonna help me to move all the parts out so probably if the bolt is gonna be here all the parts are gonna be here if i spin it well this pin will go to one side this pin go to another side and these two will go to different sides probably that's when i can put the bolt inside and then open the box okay that is pretty good explanation let's see if it it works so let's start with the pin that goes there oh there are they're, they're different one is bigger another one is smaller okay i think that the big one yeah big one goes on the bottom this one goes on top now the first one that doesn't have any faces goes here and the bolt goes right here inside yeah but now it is stuck because of the metal pin oh no metal pin is out yeah probably it is now yeah right here where the on key was so okay now i can put the bolt all the way in put the smiley face right here and that's it now i can try to close it Ta -da. and let's see if it is what i was talking about okay so now 
when I start solving it, the, uh, the tool was not sticking out so much. It was sticking out just a little bit. So probably now I have to put it like this. I'm tightening the bolt a little bit so that all the parts will move without any problems. And now what I have to do is to put the bolt... Ah, first of all, there is a smiley face here, so the puzzle is kind of solved. The goal is achieved. It took me 19 minutes. And now I have to... No, probably it is not the end since I have to put it all the way back inside. And to do it, I have to move the this metal pin to the left, this metal pin goes to the right, and now I have to screw the bolt between the two metal rods and that's going to be difficult. But I had a theory that I can spin it, it's going to be pretty difficult since the puzzle is quite heavy, but let's try it. Maybe that's what's going to help me to put the bolt deep inside, nope, not now didn't help me. Let's try again. I'll spin it a couple of times. Oh, I think that helped. Woo, that's great. Okay. It went all the way inside. And the puzzle is solved. Okay, let's just to make it completely clear. Let's try to open it again and to put the set face back. So first what I have to do, since it is unscrewed, both metal parts inside are up and down and they lock the pin on top. So I have to unscrew the bolt. That's when the top part will fall down. I can move the pin to the right. Yeah, it is right here. And now I have to find a way how to put the bolt back between the two parts. So let's try to spin it. This time I'll try to spin it counterclockwise. Yeah, that's a great idea. And the puzzle is solved. Okay, that is genius. Amazing. So first time when I took it apart, I didn't really have idea how it works, but now it seems pretty clear and that is a great idea and great solution. So now again, I have to put everything back. This is gonna be locked pin goes there. Now I have to rotate it again. Spin it, sorry. And nope, not this time. Let's try again. Okay, maybe it doesn't help all the time, but a couple of times I've been able to do this trick. Yeah, and now the bolt goes inside, the puzzle is locked, the Allen key goes inside in here and the puzzle is solved. Okay, that's it. Not, uh, wasn't able to solve it in 10 minutes, but 20 minutes is a pretty good time. That was my attempt to solve the first box puzzle designed by William Strebos. And I want to say this is the best puzzle designed by William Strebos that I solved so far. Uh, previous puzzles that I solved were also uh, interesting, but not so difficult. But this one has amazing idea. Uh, it has pretty complicated mechanics and uh, it just feels nice in hands. And it is very interesting to solve it. Uh, probably I was very lucky to solve it so quick. I think that uh, the moment when I uh, was able to uh, put the uh, bolt inside uh, all the way to the right, uh, I found it just by luck. Uh, I could spend, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes trying to do it and don't succeed, but I was lucky enough to do it so quick. 
uh, but after I took it apart, uh, it took me maybe five or seven more minutes to understand how this puzzle works. So very complicated, very interesting and highly recommended. Unfortunately, the price is quite high, but thanks to one of my viewers, I was able to try to solve this puzzle. So that was my today's video. If you like the first box puzzle, link if I find it is going to be in the video description. If you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time. And how do you like my new haircut? Leave a comment below the video.